to do that. It was good to see Sammy's been getting better and better and better. And uh, it was awesome to see him have that type of game. You know, he's just, he's a, he's a confident young man. And boy, he's got, he's got a bright future ahead of him. He'll be a great man. You mentioned him a little already, but for Elijah to go in there and play left tackle in that environment, uh, I don't think he got a penalty or anything. You know, what, how, how impressive <laughs> is that to do that? It, it, I, it, you can't, I don't have any words to say how hard that is. Again, and, and he's going against one of the best sacking teams in the country, an individual player that's second in the nation. And he's got to roll out there. And oh, by the way, he's starting on punt team. He's starting on field goal team, playing every snap at left tackle. And But he's one of the smartest kids. He's a five position player, because he played some center in high school too. But he's a kid that I really believe he'll play five positions for us in his career. Uh, just a great athlete, and I'm happy for him. I mean, I really am. In fact, it's interesting, I was talking to my AD and one of the board members we were out on the field pregame, and Elijah was right by us warming up, and I just, I was talking to, it was Bill Smith, and I said, I was just, we were standing, I said, hey, you see this freshman right here? I said, he's gonna be some kind of great player. I didn't know it was gonna be tonight, uh, but uh, just kind of foreshadowing of what, what we saw. So I'm, I'm really happy for Elijah. He's worked really hard, and just, he's a, that's a great example to other players. You never know when your time's coming, because listen, if Marcus Tate, Marcus Tate's out, we find out this morning he's not going to play. We thought he was playing until this morning. Because if Marcus Tate's available, he bumps out the tackle. Right? So, you know, we don't have him. We don't have Tristan. So just an awesome job uh, of his preparation and uh, getting it done. And, and Harris Sewell as well. So I'm just proud of that group. I'm really missing. Can't say, can't, can't overstate how how hard that is for a true freshman to go out in that environment and perform the way he did. Is the Marcus injury serious at all or more of a day-to-day -day thing, do you think? Day-to-day, -day, yeah, we thought he was going to play. Uh, we, we fully expected him to be able to go. But, uh, you know, uh, definitely think he'll be with the brother by Monday. Yes, Sebastian, and his interception, it came right after he gave up a reception. Like, how much you know, resilience is there to make that play? Yeah, I, I, I talked about that with our team. I mean, when you play corner, you have to have some amnesia, man. I mean, that's a hard position to play. And honestly, I, I just tipped my hat to number nine. I think it was number nine. Uh, it's a great play. He had awesome coverage. You can't cover it no better. And that was just a great individual play. And I, that's what I told him. I said, hey, man, that was just that was a great coverage. Go to the next play. And I didn't know the next play he was going to. But I, I wasn't surprised they came right back at him. Here's a true freshman out there. You know, they got a really good veteran receiver, big strong guy. And that was that was that was an amazing play. That was two great plays in a row. Great play by their receiver, and then a great play by Ashton. Uh, so that's the type of thing that you know can really push his confidence. You know, what it needs to be. Uh, we lost Jay Lou at some point. I think he came back. I think he came back. They told me he was back then. But we had a lot of, I mean, just it was unbelievable the amount of guys that weren't available. And you see these kids find a way to get it done. Uh, it's just, that's their heart. That's their heart. That's, 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 that's driving, their, driving their performance. Second week in a row, an opposing player had to get carted off. Um, were able to, I mean, why is it important you in those instances to kind of go up and check on the guy? I mean, it's just, you know, this is a hard game. I have great respect for the kids. And the coaches, I mean, everybody puts so much into this, and nobody ever wants to see uh, anybody get injured. Uh, and, um, you know, those are scary situations. I mean, we all, at the end of the day, we're all competitors. We all compete, we all want to win, but you don't want to see anybody get hurt. Uh, so, you know, again, just uh, hopefully he's going to be okay. Uh, but, you know, we, we've all been on both sides of that, playing and coaching. Those are scary situations, so prayers are with him and hopefully he'll be okay. Coach, when I asked you this week about what you were most excited for in the bounce back, you were saying, you see with the defense that this matchup, not getting up a touchdown, what do you say about them? Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. I mean, just super proud, super proud of how they played, how they competed. And, um, you know, we, that, last, that last deal we were trying was, was frustrating because we had him on the fourth down. We, we had him. And uh, we just couldn't get that guy on the ground. It was unbelievable. Wes made a great call on third down. 
and we went after him, and then we made a great call on fourth down, and we had him, and we just he somehow or another, I don't know, they got out of there, and they made a play. But uh, I mean, the story of the night was the defense, you know, and, and again, that's we we were embarrassed last year, last week, and they were embarrassed, and, and needed to be embarrassed by how we performed last week, and so you know, to show back up on Monday and to get back to work and respond, players and coaches, um, that's, that's, that's what it's all about. That's what, that's what winners do. That's what tough people do. You dust off, you get back in the fight, you go get better. And uh, nobody pointed fingers. Nobody took ownership of what we had to do. And this was, I, I, this was, this was not going to be an easy out. Getting the quarterback back, getting that 33 back, and uh, man, they were they were relentless. They were relentless, and I was glad. And they were super excited to go play defense first. They were really ready to go, and, and uh, you know that's the type of mentality we didn't show up with last week. Uh, so you know, hopefully that'll that'll uh, spark us to a great finish. We we got what 21 days left in our season, so and uh, there's a lot of opportunity out there. We got a lot of opportunity. We just gotta. We'll show up and have one good day at a time. We got one more conference game. We got to do everything we can to try to finish seven and one in the league. That'd be a great proof. Last week, last year we were four and four in the league. So if we can find a way to finish seven and one, man, hey, that'd be a great step back in the right direction. Ain't gonna be easy uh, to head off to pit, but you know, there's a lot to battle for in these next uh, 21 days. I did not, not till after the game. I didn't know until after the game. Take okay, one more for Coach. Anybody That's college there? football. <laughs> how close was Peter to making the trip, if at all, and how's he kind of doing? Uh, he was close, but just couldn't quite get, get where he needed to be for them to clear him. So uh, hopefully he'll be ready to go on Monday. You've sung his praise a lot, but how, how much energy did that Cole Turner catch from the sideline after his first half? Man, these kids love Cole Turner. You know, I mean, and, and every time he makes a play, man, it's just, it's awesome to see. I mean, I'm really proud of him. That's what he can do. He can go up and get it. He, he's the fastest kid on the team. He can fly. And, and the ball hung up there forever. You know, it wasn't a great timing. And that's really, really, that's one of the more difficult catches you can make when the ball's hung up and you got a guy barreling down on you. And to see him go up and hands catch that and finish it, uh, it's a great play. It's a great play. Again, just you know, he's just a redshirt freshman as well. He got his year back, so just he's, he's a guy that's growing confidence. Uh, our freshmen had a couple mistakes tonight, one in twelve, uh, but they're. I'm glad we got them on our team. They're gonna get better and better. All right, thank you, coach.